So now we're going to evaluate the psychodynamic approach and the first evaluation point is a positive. Um, we're going to have five evaluation points because you need 10 marks worth of material and I always see like each paragraph is worth a possible two marks. So make it easy for the examiners, say that this, this first paragraph supports the psychodynamic approach and um, it says that the psychodynamic approach was a pioneering approach. It veered away from the introspection that was from before with Wilhelm Wundt and um, Freud was one of the first people to identify that you could treat mental ill health psychologically rather than biologically. So before him it, um, they had used all sorts of biological methods to try and treat things like depression but Freud recognised that you could treat it psychologically through therapy. Um, Matt et al did a, um, did a study and found that um, the people who had psychoanalysis showed an improvement of symptoms and not just in the short term but the, in the long term as well so that they lasted. The second evaluation point is a criticism of the psychodynamic approach and it criticises the case study methodology and says it's very difficult to come up with universal theories like the Oedipus Electra complex um, theory, theory through um, case, the case study approach because you're only looking at specific individuals and in the case of the Oedipus Electra complex theory Freud um, just did a case study on one child called Little Hands who he only met once and actually interacted with the child's father who was a Freudian, thought Freud was great and so it was recognised that perhaps Freud was overly subjective putting his own opinion onto the experiences of Little Hands to come up with the Oedipus Electra complex so that the second valuation point criticises the research methodology. The third evaluation point is um, support for it again and it comes from Fisher and Greenberg and they did a meta-analysis of 2,500 studies and said that they found evidence, scientific evidence for the unconscious and for repression, displacement and denial. Um, so Freud was often, the, the psychodynamic approach is often criticised for not being scientific but actually Fisher and Greenberg found that scientific evidence to support those parts of the theory. The fourth um, evaluation point is a big criticism and it specifically comes from Elizabeth Loftus who you know from your um, year one studies to do with memory. Loftus is a genius when it comes to memory and she's done a lot of scientific work to discover that you can actually implant false memories in people um, and she said so she was specifically looking at this whole de idea of repression and repressed memories and in the 1980s there was a trend in America for people to go to therapy to uncover repressed memories and all these um, incidences of child abuse came out people suddenly remembering child abuse from their childhood that they'd never remembered before but Elizabeth Loftus claimed um, from her research that it wasn't um, repressed memories, it was actually implanted false memories from the therapist, possibly accidentally. Um, and so if you're going to disprove um, repression, which is a huge part of the, the whole psychodynamic approach, the idea of making the unconscious conscious is what Freud was all about. And if Elizabeth Loftus found scientific evidence to disprove that, then it does question the whole of the theory. Um, the American Psychological Association, the APA, they uh, agreed with Loftus and said that if people had been abused in childhood, then they would probably remember some aspect of it, even if they didn't really understand what that memory was. It might take therapy to uncover or make connections, but they said if you had um, experienced that kind of trauma, then you would probably remember something. And the fifth uh, evaluation point is also a criticism and it comes from Sue and Sue um, who said that the psychodynamic approach is an imposed ethic so you all know that means that uh, it's, it means it's culturally biased you're imposing the psychodynamic approach which was created in Western society onto other non-Western societies and it doesn't really work so they found that in China, people didn't want to talk about their issues and problems. They wanted to ignore them and kind of not talk about them. Whereas the whole essence of psychoanalysis is to make the unconscious conscious and talk freely about your experiences. And Sue and Sue said that just doesn't fit with, um, with the non-Western culture. 
So those are the five evaluation points. As I said, there is a memory story that you can uh, look at for the whole of the 16 mark essay, so I'll put a link in the description. And if you've got any questions, you can leave a comment below or uh, you can tweet me at blonde underscore pretzel and I'll get back to you.